Become a wealth creator today. Text VISIT to 800-454-1184 to schedule your 15-minute call with Eric and his team. That's VISIT to 800-454-1184. Another temporary spending bill, another pending federal shutdown deadline. When you think about this massive amount of government spending, do you think about how this could impact you in the future? The numbers are pretty shocking, and we're going to tell you more in a minute. But thank you so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. We're so happy to have you along with us today. Here's that phone number we want you to have handy, 800-454-1184. You can call for a complimentary appointment, 800-454-1184. The other thing you can do is just type in or text the word TOOLBOX to the same number and you can get Eric's book, Worryless Wealth, plus a bunch of other educational materials right there at your fingertips. Just text the word TOOLBOX to 800-454-1184. And remember, you can find us online anytime at wealthcreatorradio.com. And Eric, so happy to be here with you today. Yeah, Luann, it's been a little crazy. I had the uh, the first time ever we had a uh, Speaker of the House get voted out. So, I know uh, it. The, the votes only happened twice, and the first guy survived it. But uh, yeah. <laughs> that was like over 100 years ago, I think it was. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's a new one for the country. And it uh, just shows signs of more craziness and more, uh, you know, uh, the, the old joke, the opposite of uh, progress is Congress. Um, so, uh, <laughs> that's yeah. good. Yep, that's uh, yeah. That sadly, we elected all these people to get things done, and they seem to not be able to do that. So yeah, yeah, it, it's it's gonna be another little rocky ride for a while until we get this all figured out. And then worldly news with everything that happened in Israel, very scary stuff. So we're watching that, but. It was down to the wire again with members of Congress sending a temporary funding bill to the president's desk just hours before the federal government would shut down. So, Eric, I'm going to play some audio from Chuck Schumer and also Mitch McConnell and then get your uh, reaction from them. But this is a bridge CR and Leader McConnell and I have agreed to continue fighting for more economic and security aid for Ukraine. We support Ukraine's efforts to defend its sovereignty against Putin's aggression. Okay, that's Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Then here's Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, and he says there is still work to do for a final spending bill later this year. From securing supplemental relief for victims of natural disasters to restoring security and sanity at the southern border that the Biden administration has dragged into chaos to putting stronger restraints on the president's reckless spending to supplying Ukraine with even more of the lethal assistance it needs to repel Russia's invasion. So, with all that, your reaction? Yeah, well, you know, it, it's it's the same old, same old stuff, right? Uh, the Congress not getting things done. They're battling all, all these things and coming down to the wire. And it's like, yeah, this, these are all fake crises uh, in terms of obviously not Ukraine and stuff, but, you know, the debt, the debt ceiling and, and all these things. If they got their job done on time, <laughs> you know, we wouldn't be doing this. This is kind of like your kid <laughs> freaking out because he's got a report to it. He has mm-hmm. to get all this stuff. It's like, well, why didn't you do this ahead of time? Right. And <laughs> I mean, we've all been there, right? We've yeah. all been in school where you, you, you cram for the last minute and stuff. But <laughs> for us, when we don't get our homework done, it just means you get a bad grade, you know, for Congress, it means people don't get paid. People mm-hmm. can't, can't go buy stuff. That means the military doesn't get paid. Yeah. The, the government workers that aren't usually very high paid in the first place <laughs> don't yeah. get paid. Right. So, you know, it, it's, it's one of these things where it's always a short term hampering on the, the markets and the economy, but then it usually comes right back up. So, you know, that part of course, isn't as bad. Now all the, the, the wars and stuff are, are definitely a lot worse. And uh, yeah, I, I I do think we need to keep supporting supporting freedom and, and all that. So, yeah, we'll have to see how this all plays out because of, uh, you know, unfortunately, there's there's not any leadership from either side really stepping up to say, hey, here's how we're going to balance the budget. Here's how we're going to yeah. cut spending. You know, the Trump administration spent a ton. Um, some of that was COVID related, obviously. And, and you know, Biden administration really hasn't done much difference. So mm-hmm. it's not really what's Democrat or Republican. Right. It's just nobody's stepping up to, to take charge. And so what is that going to do to your 
financial future. I mean, uh, one of the things that uh, there was an article just recently about the uh, the interest on the national debt. That one's pretty scary because it's it's saying that it should triple from almost five hundred billion to one point four trillion. And, you know, that's a huge number. Yeah. And, and that's that was saying by 2032. But actually, I think it'd be even faster because of the fact that the you know, interest rates have been shooting up so much. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's one of the things that when one of your major budget items is just interest. And interest doesn't go help anybody. Right. That's just paying back, trying not even paying back our bills. It's just, you know, paying for what we owed in the past and uh, still haven't even paid for the price. So, you know, that what that tells me is uh, financial advisors, you need to make sure you have some money that's not open to taxes, like 401ks, IRAs, those mm-hmm. are open to tax law changes. And, you know, that that's one of the things that I think people need to be paying a lot more attention to. You know, the threat of a federal shutdown always is big in the media, right? But honestly, analysts are saying the whole long-term economic impact of our government closure really is going to be minimal. So let's talk about how you guide people through events that can cause kind of a lot of chaos, you know, but um, even if it's only temporary. Yeah, well, this is one of those things where it doesn't matter in six months, a year, five years, right? You know, the, the guy who cut you off on the freeway, <laughs> right, or whatever. Uh, you know, a week later, does it matter? A month later, does it? No. no. So don't don't play into it. Don't uh, react. You know, maybe turn off the news. <laughs> yeah, that's sometimes a good thing. So really, yeah, really, you don't want to make permanent long-term decisions based on this. And, you know, really what you want to do is see how your position, see where your money's at. And, you know, I think one thing that we are definitely seeing with uh, with all this conflict really in Congress is the fact that there isn't going to be any great spending pattern set up. And and so they're just going to keep spending money. They're going to not be balancing the budget. And that means anything that's open to taxes is going to be a, a big issue. And so you need to learn how to, uh, you know, if your financial advisor is not talking to you about how to lower your tax bill, how to save money on taxes, if your tax person isn't telling you how to lower not this year, over your lifetime, we need to be talking about lowering your taxes over your lifetime on your retirement plans. And that's, I think, the, the key thing to be paying attention to, because if that's what all this chaos is going to be, you know, really happening, you know, and, and hurting people. So, you know, with all these huge payments and with all these expenses, what do you need? Well, you need to have a plan. <laughs> and so we've built a, the, a great toolbox of great Great information up there, really. Are you paying too much taxes in retirement, which is probably the big one I'd be focused on right now. Also, my book, Worry Less Wealth. And even if you want to set up a 15 to 30 minute phone call with us, all you got to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox 800-454-1184 or request it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. And you are listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Luann Fulmer. So, Eric, because of this massive amount of government debt, most analysts are thinking our our country is not going to be able to dig out of this hole without any drastic measures. I think the same thing, you know. So, you know, we're going to have higher taxes, obviously. How do you talk to people about this? Uh, Yeah, well, it it should be number one thing that people really should be thinking about when they're getting close to retirement and planning. And especially, actually, to be honest, even if you're younger, you should be really, really thinking Mm -hmm. about it. But yeah, if if you're under 50, you should only be funding Roth, Roth 401k or Roth IRA, anything that you can to avoid taxes. Uh, There's overfunded life insurance. There's lots of great tools out there that that you can use if you know how to use them, if you know what the, the pros and cons are. A lot of the people come talk to us who are, you know, making that shift into retirement. Yeah, this is a huge deal because of, you know, the the tax bill is going to be monstrous. And, you know, when you look at the cumulative tax bill, that's what I really focus on is how much tax you're going to be paying between, say, now and age 85. Mm. And if we can notch that down by a half million or a million or more, yeah, that's a huge thing. I mean, I just looked at one person who had a bunch of money in savings in a bank and just by moving that money from a bank CD to to a tax deferred tool uh, product that saved them over 400,000 in, in just uh, 20 years, uh, you know, and, <laughs> yeah. and that was, uh, you know, so, so there was, uh, that was just a super simple one. I mean, that was not even something like, you know, Roth conversions and other things like that. So, you know, there, there's a lot of things that you can be doing right now to save money on taxes and avoid the taxes permanently, or at least not have to have you pay them. <laughs> and so, you know, that's what you need. You need to have a plan. You need to know 
not only just your income and your investments, but how the taxes interrelate with all that. And that's what we do when we build the blueprint to worry less wealth. And, uh, you know, that's something we can do for you. We've got a way to set up a time to talk there at our toolbox. And we've got a lot of great other quick reads about taxes and social security decisions, all the things you need to think about when you're going to retire. So all you got to do is text the word toolbox to 800 454 1184. Again, text the word toolbox 800 454 1184 or download directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. All right. We do have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more from Eric and Wealth Creator Radio. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. Are we headed towards a recession? If so, how will your retirement be impacted? With so much uncertainty on the horizon, the decisions you make today can have a huge impact on your financial future. When should you take Social Security? How will you reduce the impact of inflation? Are you comfortable with the amount of risk you're taking with your savings? Join Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial for an informational webinar where he'll discuss these factors and more. Spots are filling up fast though, so claim yours now. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com to find the day and time that work best for you. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Don't let a recession or whatever the future holds dictate your retirement dreams. Sign up now for this free and informational webinar with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Investment advisory services offered through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Hi, you're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Lou Ann Fulmer. Eric is president at Heckman Financial, where their mission is to help you get to and through a worry less wealth retirement. That is his goal for you when you like to worry less. Because we're faced with questions every single day. But when you're starting to consider retirement, those questions get a lot more complicated. Eric, what questions should we be asking if we're getting close to retirement? Yeah, there, there's a lot. Um, you know, obviously, when can I retire? That's a big one, right? And, mm-hmm. Yeah, do I have enough? And probably the, the other number one is, uh, will the money last? Right. So, yeah. so those, are, those are some of the big, big ones. And then, you know, obviously what happens to my money when I'm gone? And mm. so, yeah, so really what you need to do is, uh, you know, really think about those, those ways. And, and to me, the only, the only way I can do that is, is using our blueprint to worry less wealth. And because we want people to worry less about all these questions and all these yeah. you know, issues. So, uh, so that, that's the main thing is, is, you know, if you address all this stuff ahead of time, you don't have to keep asking these questions, but you keep having to ask the question if you never figure out the answer. Exactly. <laughs> so that's that's the easy solution. <laughs> I want to take that question, have I saved enough? Okay. I would imagine that question is probably the very first one that people have. So walk us through again, because you've done this before, but how you help them find that answer. Yeah. So really what this needs to be is is a written income plan that says, okay, if I'm spending you know, this much money every month. So first of all, you have to have a, a real number, not one people make up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I literally had a couple that he was an engineer, very, very detail orientated kind of guy. And uh, she she did uh, like more, I think, marketing sales type stuff. And and so they're sitting there and, and I was asking this question, for, okay, how much do you need a, every month to live on? And you know, and they'd come off the radio and they, you know, come down to the office to meet and, you know, going through this. And she was saying 6,000 and he was saying 13,000. Like, <laughs> wow. That, that, that's a big difference between the two of you guys. Huge. And, uh, then we found out the real number was 13, five. Wow. So he, he was the one who did the m- money. So he definitely had a better clue, yeah. but he was actually it annoyed him when he did the, yeah. <laughs> when, when he added up all the numbers. <laughs> so he had to go hunt down that little last 500 and figure uh-huh. out where it was. But, you know, and so once we know that, that number, then we can say, okay, well, what's different? Well, usually your healthcare is not included because typically for most people, that's, you know, you get that through your paycheck. Uh-huh. Right. And so that one, that's one that you have to add in. And so did, we did that. We, uh, we made sure there's a fun fund, which they definitely did already have that budgeted in. And, you know, then we ran those numbers out with taxes, with inflation, 
you know, what, which types of monies they're taking out, which pots of money, all that stuff. And mm-hmm. yeah, well, once we run that all out, uh, you know, then, then you can know, is that money going to last? Is it going to run out when you're 75 or 95? Uh, mm-hmm. Obviously 75 is time to think and rethink when you need to retire. <laughs> uh, 95 is yeah. probably not too bad, but uh, you know, so, so that's, that's the only way I know to how, how to really answer that question is have a written income plan that that's based in reality. Yeah, very good. Um, how many sources of income are people usually using in retirement? Yeah, so, so the weird part about retirement is I always tell people it's about lots of little checks. Ah. So, you know, people feel that they they need that, that big paycheck that they're used to getting, right? That every two weeks or twice a month or sometimes even monthly. But that's not going to happen in retirement. It's going to be lots of lots of little checks. So, you know, what I've found is a lot of people, you know, don't like that, right? They, they, they want that, you know, that bigger check. And so you just kind of have to get used to this and say, okay, well, this pot of money is going to be giving this, this so much and they get so much from Social Security. One of the problems a lot of times people have is they don't have any real great, you know, steady sources of income. And that's something, you know, like a pension that, you know, we used to all have, right? That mm-hmm. are maybe our grandparents had, or maybe your parents had, but you know, that's pretty much gone away. So you can actually pretty much create that on your own. Uh, there's insurance products out there that, that can, you know, guarantee that money for the rest of your life. And so, you know, there are ways to do that. Um, you know, there's lots of ways to, to, to structure that income, uh, but, but yeah, you, you need to know where it's going to be coming from. You need to know also which type of money should you have and what type of thing, right? So if it's Roth money or if it's, you know, taxable IRA money, or if it's just your regular money, you know, that those different tax effects have different, you know, consequences if you put whichever type of, uh, you know, products in there. So you want to know where should be my high dividend paying stuff? Should that be my Roth or my taxable account. Uh, you know, there's lots of different things to look at that. And that's that's part of asset allocation that people don't get. And I think most advisors actually gloss over that and huh. because they don't know taxes, they're not licensed like me to do tax work. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that's one of the big issues. So one of the reports that we actually have um, up in the digital toolbox is, will your money last as long as you do? A uh, pretty simple thing. It's yep. a you know, it's a very quick read. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to read that, and uh, we also have some other stuff, or you know, paying too much taxes and retirement and so forth. But yeah, I mean, that'd be I think one of the the best places to start is first educate yourself about what you should be thinking about before you try to answer the question, <laughs> and then then you're gonna be a lot better off. And so again, that's something you can easily download. All you have to do is text the word toolbox to eight hundred. 454-1184. Again, text word toolbox 800-454-1184 or download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Yeah, worry less about your retirement portfolio and focus on having that fun. That's what we want for you. And create that wealth, which is, you know, true wealth, which is enjoying your life to the fullest with your family, doing the things that you want to do. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Luann Fulmer. All right. Next question. Um, How do you help someone figure out that retirement date? Yeah, well, I mean, it can be lots of things, right? So sometimes... Um, for a lot of people nowadays, it's age 65, just not because that's when Social Security is anymore. It's, you know, for most people, it's actually 67, Mm -hmm. but that's still the Medicare age. And that's one of those big expenses. If you try to retire pre-65, you're going to be probably paying about a thousand a person uh, for medical. And then once you hit 65, it's maybe 300 bucks. So, Hmm. you know, big, big difference, right? (laughs) So especially if you're married and you haven't do that, you know, times two, right? So that's one of them. But also a lot of times, you know, you may have a year end bonus or you might have a bonus that's, you know, based on a fiscal year or you know, RSUs, you know, restricted stock units or ESPP, employee stock purchase plan stuff, all that, all those things depends on what company you work with and your job, right? So sometimes you do want to plan around some of that stuff. And um, you know, there's even some tax strategies and other things that you can do with Social Security. You can actually go backwards six months and, and start your Social Security. So sometimes we'll have people, maybe they have some you know, capital gains and other stuff that they need to sell off when they leave their job. And so we'll wait till January to turn on that, that Social Security, but we can go back all the way to July oh. and turn it on. And that way that income now isn't that next year. So there's lots of different ways and tricks you can do it. But, um, you know, yeah, you, you just want to figure out what's the best that works for you and your job. Okay. Wow. Very good. That's interesting stuff. I haven't heard that before. 
you always talk about when you help people develop a, a budget for retirement, you call it the, the no BS budget. Do people think they're going to spend more or less in retirement? Well, first of all, I find everybody thinks they spend about 30 to 40 percent less than they really do. <laughs> I, I, I never get the right answer the first time. It's so <laughs> rare. Get even close. Yeah. You know, when you're working and you've got the cash flow coming in, you don't worry about where that money's coming from. But yeah, once you stop working, <laughs> you need to make sure you know that number. And, and so, yeah, that's one of the things that we work with is looking at what your actual spending is, you know, making sure you have a reality of the fact that you have seven days a weekend and you have a lot more time to play and have fun and do trips. And, you know, but also for our clients, we, we check in on that every year to make sure that, that you're not going overboard, you're not spending too much and, you know, make sure you have a reality check. And so, you know, these are all things that, uh, you know, that, that are up in the digital toolbox. Uh, you know, so again, that's something you can grab a hold of. If you want to just text the word toolbox to 800 454 1184. Again, you'll get, will your money last? Uh, am I paying too much in taxes and social security? How long will your money last? Are you paying too much in taxes and retirement? When to take social security? A copy of my book and even a time to sit down and talk with me. So again, if you want to get access to all that great information, all you have to do is text the word toolbox 800-454-1184 or download directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Having enough money to retire is one thing, but making sure it lasts as long as you live is a whole nother thing. We're going to explore that next. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. We'll be right back. Do you know whether your retirement plan has any weak points? Discover ways on giving your financial future the proper tune-up. Simply go online to wealthcreatortoolbox.com to gain a better understanding in taxes, social security, and other ways to manage your portfolio. And that's how it's done. That's wealthcreatortoolbox.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. Hey, thanks for joining us today. You're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. And Eric is offering to help you create a retirement strategy. You have to have a written plan. Together, you can look at your income, your investments, tax strategies, health care, legacy plan. All those things need to be in that written plan. And you can get our toolbox, no cost. Just text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184. It includes some great materials for you. All right, saving for retirement is one thing, but it is a whole different ballgame to make sure your money lasts because obviously we don't know how long we're going to live in retirement. So Eric, once we're confident that, okay, we've saved enough money, we can retire, uh, then how can we ensure that we're not going to outlive that savings? Yeah, that, that's usually the number one fear is, you know, people uh, living too long and having too little, right? Yeah. And, and, you know, what used to kill us now you know, you take a pill for it lots of times and, and you're, you know, you're good, right? So when Social Security first started, they basically picked 65 originally because that's when statistically most people were dying. Hmm. And now, I mean, it's crazy how many, you know, 90 year olds and 95 year olds there are and such. And <laughs> uh, I've got clients in their 70s and their parents are still alive. You're just going to go, what? Wow, I know. <laughs> so yeah. it used to be impressive if you made it to your 70s, but now <laughs> that's a lot longer. So we do have to make sure that, that we're planning well. Uh, since most of us don't have pensions, uh, uh, you know, you, you'll have Social Security there. But, you know, after one person dies, there's only one check, not two. There are some great products out there. There's some great ways to do that. Uh, you know, obviously, you can have a lot of assets that, that helps, right? Yeah. But, you know, you can't guarantee everything. So, you know, there are tools out there where you can guarantee a certain amount of money for the rest of your life. And um, a lot of studies in, in different uh, trade journals and such, um, you know, have, have talked about this. The fact that you need to have some sort of some sort of money, one portion of it guaranteed for the rest of your life or you know, you don't, you know, you may really literally run out of that money. So, well, that's one of the biggest things and there are tools there. Um, you know, but I just, I think people just need to learn about them and, and, you know, get a little bit more educated. Yeah. Learn about the tools and if they will work for you, because obviously they're not going to work for everybody's situation. And so that's what I love about your plan, Eric, is that it is customized. So it depends on the person. So living a long time, 
sounds wonderful. You know, oh, I'm going to live till I'm 100, right? But also with doing so, you're in, you're exposed to some risks that way. Let's talk about that. Well, yeah, certainly. I mean, when you live a long time in retirement, uh, you know, there's a couple things. Uh, I think probably the, one of the bigger risks that, that I know most men, <laughs> just to bash my own gender, but, uh, you know, most, most men forget to think about what's going to, you know, statistically they die, you know, before their wives. Yeah. And, you know, after there's one less Social Security check, the bigger the two stays, you know, what's going to happen to that other healthy spouse that might live for you know long long Another time 20 afterwards years, and, yeah yeah and that's where you need to make sure that money lasts you need to have some of that money guaranteed but you still need to have some of that money growing right you, you know so it's not like you have to get everything out of the market or anything but um, you do want a good portion guaranteed but you do want some growth there and then you also need some steady income you need to have some money that's cash flowing that that's not very volatile that's paying you money because the other thing is the longer we live the more ups and downs of the market you're going to live through and so that means you need to have a plan to to be able to still be retired. And, you know, the whole mantra of, oh, wait till it comes back. Well, you can't wait till it comes back when you're retired. You need that money every month. And so, yeah, so that that's why really having having a properly structured plan is going to really help make sure that the success rate is really something you can, you know, increase as much as you can. Okay. And one thing I know, Fidelity reports that an average 65-year-old couple is estimated to spend $315,000 after taxes on health care in retirement. And that doesn't even include long-term care. So I want you to walk us through how you help people plan for health care. Yeah, that, that's a big one. And, and, you know, I had a client that unfortunately now she's passed away, but she said, look at these pointing to her mouth. They're all her <laughs> teeth? Like, yeah. She's like, that's $28,000 in there. Whoa. And, and she's like, I want to make sure when I pass away that my teeth are on display because <laughs> that that's a lot of money I got in my mouth. And <laughs> it was kind of a weird thing. She, <laughs> she she had a quirky sense of humor, as you can to, see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, it, dental is, I think, one of the biggest ones. I, I would say that we run an average of probably once every six months or you know, twice a year, I guess, of, of clients needing five-figure withdrawals from their accounts for dental expenses. It's just something you have to have in the plan, right? You just have to have that that budgeted in, uh, you know that that that's going to be there. And and you know, obviously, you, you mentioned that's not including long term care. Long term care. Uh, when I started over thirty years ago, the odds of long term care somebody needing it was around fifty percent. Now those stats are up to seventy percent. And right now, it's running easily nine to ten thousand dollars per month. How's your money going to last paying that? Well, if you have one spouse that needs care, say for three years, you may have burned through three hundred grand of assets just on that, mm -hmm. you know. And then that person passes away, and now they've got one less Social Security check. They've got all these other issues, and so, you know, again, that's why you want to have that blueprint to worry less wealth, where you have that plan that talks about an income plan and tax plan, investments, healthcare, legacy. All those things have to be wrapped up in in, in one cohesive short document, less than 20 pages. And so that's one of the things that we do here at Heckman Financial with, with our clients. And so, you know, there's a lot of these resources that you can get for free. Uh, obviously, you can also give us a call and we can set up a 15 to 30 minute phone call. But yeah, if you go to the, the or get our t digital toolbox, you'll get, a, you know, the great report of how long will my, you know, will my money last as long as I do? Am I paying too much in taxes in retirement? Uh, so all these great things like, along with a, a way to, you know, meet with me, Eric Heckman. Uh, so all you have to do is text the word toolbox 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox 800-454-1184. 1184 or download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Yeah, we are giving you access to materials that have strategies. And of course, this is complimentary. So take Eric up on this. And thanks so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Luann Fulmer. So I want to ask you, don't we all need to have a plan for our legacy? Oh, certainly. And, and you know, if you have to settle somebody's estate. Now, estate, by the way, that sounds like a fancy thing. That's just all their money and their accounts and figuring out all that stuff. Uh, yeah, it, it's a mess if it's done right. 
<laughs> and it's a real mess if, it, if it's done wrong. Right, yeah. It can take you a lot of time. I mean, I had a client that was uh, having to help settle her uh, aunt's estate with um, with one of her cousins. Uh, her aunt had no no children, so that she named both of them to doing it. And uh, I think when it was over and over and done, I think they had over four hundred hours no. that they had spent on on all that stuff. Oh my! Literally, can be a second job. And the aunt did a pretty good job of having everything, you know, mostly in the right spots and all that stuff. But if there's a house to sell, if there's, you know, obviously you have to empty the house, right? Move all that stuff out or sell it or whatever, you know, do all those beneficiary changes, meet with tax people, meet with attorneys, all that, all that stuff. So it, it can be a wreck, uh, <laughs> you know, if it's a mess. And even if it isn't a mess, it's still a lot of effort and time. So, you know, first of all, making sure you know somebody who has, has all that, that time and energy that they can do that, that they're, that they're going to stick with it, that they're skilled enough to do it correctly. Uh, you, you then have some people demanding money right now. Uh, I mean, once money gets involved, it's amazing how people who used to be nice are not so nice. And yeah. and so they want their payouts quicker. Uh, and, and then there's goofy stuff. I mean, I literally one time had, there was three siblings and one of the siblings was, was the executor, but the other sibling went into, it was grandma's house for, you know, for the daughter and took some of grandma's shoes. And grandma was a client of mine. She didn't have any <laughs> fancy footwear that I knew of, but. But it, it was crazy. They were fighting over why did you go in there and take some shoes before you asked us about it, and all, you know, and oh just silly, crazy, weird stuff. So you want to have it planned out. You want to have, if there's any special sentiment, sentimental things, you want to have that itemized out too of who gets what. But really have that discussion. Make sure whoever you're picking is, is somebody who can handle it. And uh, yeah, it, it's something that you need to take action on. So you know, one of the other tools that we have is a great checklist, and this checklist has a bunch of different things like, have you done this? Have you done this? And it'll, you know, it's kind of like a little game, right? You know, how high is your score? Did you get the high score or not? So, mm-hmm. and if you didn't, well, now you know what you, you got to work on. So yeah, why don't you take the checklist challenge and uh, just text the word checklist to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word checklist, all one word to 800-454-1184 or download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. Are we headed towards a recession? If so, how will your retirement be impacted? With so much uncertainty on the horizon, the decisions you make today can have a huge impact on your financial future. When should you take Social Security? How will you reduce the impact of inflation? Are you comfortable with the amount of risk you're taking with your savings? Join Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial for an informational webinar where he'll discuss these factors and more. Spots are filling up fast though, so claim yours now. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com to find the day and time that work best for you. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Don't let a recession or whatever the future holds dictate your retirement dreams. Sign up now for this free and informational webinar with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Investment advisory services offered through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Hi, this is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Lou Ann Fulmer. Eric is president of Heckman Financial, where their mission is to get you to and through a worryless wealth retirement. Eric comes up with the strategies to help retirees in all kinds of things. It could be minimizing fees, lowering your tax costs, all the things that you worry about because he wants to help you worry less in retirement. We have for you a Wealth Creator Toolbox that you can get complimentary, which includes his book and a whole bunch of other educational reports that can guide you with retirement. All you have to do is text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184, 800-454-1184. Just text that word toolbox. And then always remember, you can find us online anytime at wealthcreatorradio.com. All right, Eric, it's time for us to dig into some mailbag questions, okay? Yep, nope, sounds great. (laughs) Okay. Here's the first question. I just found out that I'll be receiving around $100,000 from a life insurance policy after my grandpa passed away. I'm stunned by the amount because I really didn't expect it. So I have two questions, Eric. 
what should I do with this money? That's number one. Number two, I really want to be able to do something like this for my own grandkids one day. So how can I make that happen? Yeah, I mean, life insurance is one of these things that, uh, well, it's probably always bashed just because the way it historically was sold, right? You know, you get always get the image of the insurance guy in Groundhog Day movie. Oh, yeah. You know, where he's <laughs> every day, you know, over and over trying to sell Bill Murray something. And, you know, really, it can be one of the best financial tools out there for, for passing tax-free money. So first and foremost, that hundred grand, if you get that from life insurance, it's 100% tax free. Yeah. It's all your money. So yeah. that's nice. So, uh, you know, had that been an IRA, well, then you would have gotten like 65, right? <laughs> so that 100 is 100. And, you know, so obviously that person should be trying to put it away for their own retirement, making sure they've got enough saved up. But, you know, in the same time frame, they could actually be uh, taking an overfunded life insurance. Um, you know, there's a couple of different ways. The ones that if you're trying to maximize legacy, you just get a, a policy that's a minimum premium that's lasted all the way to age 100. Or there's another technique of max funding a policy for cash value. So so you get income. So so say like maybe you take that hundred grand and put 10,000 a year into a life insurance policy. Well, depending on your age and time frame and stuff, I mean, that could be paying out several thousands, if not even 10,000 or more uh, tax-free you know, uh, through loans from the life insurance for the rest of your life. So, you know, it's something that can be really done well. Obviously, you have to be insurable. <laughs> Obviously, you got to have some, you know, some timeline to, to, to make that work. But, uh, you know, it is something that, that can be there. And then whatever's left over on the death benefit would, again, then go to their either children or grandchildren. Yeah, it can be a great tool. Also, by the way, if somebody does want to ask us a question, uh, they can just go to either either Facebook or um, Twitter, and it's uh, the the at symbol uh, number one wealth creator, so one wealth creator, and that's how you can reach out and get a hold of us. Awesome, and that's on uh, Facebook then, and also Facebook or Twitter or both, Twitter. Both, yeah, same Love handle. It. Yeah, one one wealth creator. Okay, one wealth creator. If you have your own questions, my goodness, you could do that and get an answer that way. That's nice. All right, we are reaching into the mailbag here and getting some common questions that a lot of us are wondering about. And here's one here. It also has to do with insurance, Eric. This one says, if we have a good amount of life insurance and about $800,000 in a 401k and a long-term care policy already set up, do you think we're okay for retirement? Well, the tough part is how much do you need to live on, mm. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, having money in the bank's great, but money is pointless in, in your retirement accounts or any place else until it turns into income, right? You know, it's just like saying, hey, I've got a lot of equity in my house. Well, unless you're renting it out or selling it, you know, it doesn't do you any good today, right? So mm-hmm. uh, what we need to do is figure out, okay, well, what is that monthly amount of, of income do they need? Well, if they need to say... Say they need eight thousand a month, and you know you multiply that out. That's about a hundred grand a year. Uh, eight hundred thousand in a four hundred one k is not going to last long unless they have a lot of social security income or maybe a pension or other things. Uh, so again, it, it you know it's it's a hard question to ask, and and that's really why we've you know built our planning process of, around you know looking at how do you build out that income plan because. Number one fear everybody has, of course, is just running out of money, right? Mm-hmm. You're, you know, 80 years old and having to go, you know, say, welcome to Walmart or whatever <laughs> type <laughs> of thing, right? So you don't want to have to go out to work because you have to. You want to do it because you want to do it and want to have fun. So you want to make sure that income lasts. So the first thing that we do when we're working with our clients is we sit sit there and we create that income plan so we know how much and how long will that money last. So not only how much can I spend on an inflation-adjusted uh, basis, But also, is it going to last until I'm 75 or 95? Because big difference between those two. And then, you know, how should I claim Social Security? All those kind of things are, of course, all tied into income. And what risk level, you know, they're talking about that 800 grand in the 401k. Well, what risk level is that? If also the market drops 20 or 30 percent, you know, then what Mm. happens? You know, then also the taxes, of course, if it's 401k money, it's all taxable. Uh, so how do we how do we pay that tax on the way out? And then look at the uh, the health care. Is that long term care uh, good enough or is it going to be raising rates all the time? And then lastly, legacy. You know, who, do you have all the beneficiaries set up right ways? You know, everything going to uh, to the next generation the way you want it to with the least cost. So, you know, what we do is we actually first set up a, f- a 15 to 30 minute phone call with people. Just ask them, hey, what, what's going on? What's your situation like? 
Uh, sometimes it may be a quick, easy question, but then sometimes people say, oh, no, no, I, I really need to get that plan, that blueprint. Um, you know, so they say, hey, Eric, how, how do I do this? And so we talk about their situation. And uh, once we get, you know, kind of their, their background info, um, then we get, you know, their statements through a secure website. They send that to us. And then we either meet in person or on Zoom. And we go over their situation. We go over that blueprint because everybody has their own blueprint. They just don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's the problem. So we'll show you what path you're on and we'll tell you what's issues, what's the problems ahead, uh, what's going right, what's going wrong. And then it's up to you if you want to help work with us to help you fix it or you can choose somebody else. But at least you get that information. And, you know, that's why we do this. And right now we've been waiving our $1,500 planning fee. So take advantage of our time, my expertise. Uh, you'll actually be talking to me, but when you call up, you just leave a voicemail. Nobody's going to answer the phone because my staff's off on the weekends just like me. <laughs> so leave us a message, 800-454-1184. Again, you can actually leave a message or you can text uh, the word visit to 800-454-1184, 800-454-1184. Or lastly, you can book directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. All right, we are uh, going through some mailbag questions for Eric. Here's another one. I'm getting remarried later this year. I have two sons and my fiance has four kids from her marriage. I don't want to hurt their feelings, but I'm not going to split up my estate six ways. I want my money and my estate to go to my boys, just like we've always planned. But to keep peace, would it make sense to get a separate life insurance policy so her kids can get something after I'm gone too? Yeah, this happens a lot. <laughs> so a lot of times when people get remarried, uh, you know, the Brady Bunch seemed like a, <laughs> you know, a weird, odd thing. And nowadays it's almost more common than yeah. than not. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, there's a couple of things that you want to do is obviously stuff like IRAs, 401ks, I'll go go pass, pass through via beneficiary. So the easy way to fix that is just make sure your beneficiaries are kept the same. All they have to watch out for 401ks because your spouse has to be your beneficiary. So, you know, unless they sign off on it. So there are some some sticky points on some of those things. Uh, often there's the easy way to do it is have a his and her trust or, you know, one spouse trust, one spouse has their own trust. And then you guys have a joint trust or joint assets. And that way, those each all have their own rules of who gets what. Mm-hmm. And lastly, though, uh, you know, the question about the life insurance, yeah, it could be a good way to do it. Uh, depends on the cost and all that. But yeah, as long as you have one that's uh, what they call guaranteed to 100 type policy where it doesn't stop, you know, it doesn't run out. You don't want a term policy because it's only good for a certain term. But if you got one of these guaranteed 100, yeah, that, that, that could be a way to leave some money tax free and. And, and make sure that uh, nobody's seeing bad stuff about you after you're gone. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, again, th- these are all definitely great planning questions. If somebody wants to take some time and just give us a call, 15 to 30 minute phone call, we'll set up that time with you. All you have to do is um, either give us a call or text the word visit to 800-454-1184. Again, 800-454-1184 or book directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial, and we'll be right back with the rest of our show. Stick around. Become a wealth creator today. Text VISIT to 800-454-1184 to schedule your 15-minute call with Eric and his team. That's VISIT to 800-454-1184. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. Hey, thanks for joining us. You're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. And every week on our show, Eric and I discuss challenges and risks that exist in retirement. So it's time now for Eric to give us another example of someone who has experienced one of those retirement obstacles that we talk about. And that would be what we call a financial fail. So tell us what you have for us, Eric. This is always a a tough subject, right? (laughs) You don't really want to have people failing. You want to have people succeeding. And these clients came to me when they were in their late 60s and getting close to retiring. And we went ran through the the blueprint to worry less wealth. And we did the income plan and everything was looking pretty good. They 
have a house, but they also have like a rental unit out back. So that gives her some extra income. And they were just getting married. Uh, well, they were supposed to get married and then COVID hit. And <laughs> so they delayed it for about two years before they could have all their friends there. But uh, they did do all that stuff. And, and so they're uh, been, been enjoying retirement. But uh, recently, their their tax rates shot through the roof. And we were looking at that. And uh, the crazy part is uh, their combined Social Security, it went from, uh, so it went from like 81 to 86,000. The tax the taxable portion of that Social Security, so what counts for income, went from twenty four thousand to fifty three to seventy four thousand. Wow. So they got a couple dollars more, but their taxable income went up by twenty thousand dollars. Oh my word! Uh, just in the one year, from three years ago, it went up almost fifty thousand dollars. Now this isn't taking out; they weren't. You know, getting more money per se from Social Security, but they were taking more money from their IRA, and that IRA income made their income higher. Yep. And so then, of course, you had to take more money out for taxes for, you know, to net more money out of your IRA, right? Yeah. And then that also now hit them with a big tax bill. So now we're having to take out even more money. So unfortunately, we did not have the timeline to to do Roth conversions or anything else like that. So, you know, that, this is one of the, the things that we try to do if we have more timeline with people before they retire. So that's why it's so critical to have that five to 10 years out to really look at that and say, oh, yeah, I really need to do some action or, or I'm set. Yeah, but you have to know about it, right? So, uh, <laughs> again, if that's something you want to get a little bit more information on, we've got my book. We've got Are You uh, Paying Too Much in Taxes, The Social Security Decision, Will Your Money Last As Long As You Do? Lots of great resources in the toolbox, the Wealth Creator Toolbox. All you have to do to get that is text the word TOOLBOX to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word TOOLBOX, 800-454-1184, or download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. That's all for this week's show. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon. Information provided during Wealth Creator Radio is for illustrative purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with a qualified investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Individuals should thoroughly review the contract for specific details of the product features and costs. Income payments and withdrawals from deferred annuities are generally taxable as ordinary income in the year they are taken. Eric Heckman offers investment advisory services through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Any tax advice given as part of this presentation is not intended to be used and cannot be used by the taxpayer for the purpose of avoiding tax penalties or promoting, marketing, or recommending to another party any matter or transaction addressed herein. The views and opinions expressed in the program are not necessarily those of the radio station or its sponsors, and they should not construe as legal, tax, or investment advice. You should always consult the appropriate advisor before making any financial decision.